Hey guys, it's Steve with Black Fly. Um, hope everybody's doing wonderful. I'm gonna whip up a ter terrestrial. It's just a fly that I made up and um, it's similar to a bionic ant or maybe kind of like a micro hopper, but the fly sincerely, sincerely rips lip. And I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna cut me out. Just trim it down. Kind of start out with the triangle, just round this head. Doesn't have to be perfect. Then I will take and just kind of cut the corners off of that, the tail end of it. Okay, so I'm gonna end up with a piece of foam that looks kind of like like so. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my lighter. There's two things I like about doing this. One, it adds some contrast to the foam, and then two, it uh, just softens those edges. And I, I like the way it kind of, see how it kind of gives it like a dark spot. Could imitate a head. So when you're done, it should look something kind of like these. Okay, so this is a size 10 hook, and that's approximately uh, one inch long. Danville. 3-0 waxed. Just work that down to the back. Got some red crystal flash. So I take one strand and I will fold it in half and then I will fold it in half again. Then what I'll do is I will take and I will take those and I'll just loop it around the thread like that. That will give me. Uh, that'll give me six strands. I'll take my scissors and just cut that about right there. That's just a little bit of uh, dubbing. Spin up a uh, just a dubbing, little dubbing noodle, dubbing rope, whatever you want to call it. And you can mix and match colors here is when it comes to the foam or um, fly tying's an art. So, okay, so next we're going to take our piece of foam. You can see, and I just, I just kind of center it. Set it on top and what I'll do is I will pinch it like that. And then I'll take my thread. And I don't, I don't care if that dubbing's there, it's, it adds bugginess for me. Tie this forward and create a little gap. And I'm gonna go under, I'm gonna go under just one time here and then back, just that just keeps it from spinning. And we'll come back to about, come back to the middle. Okay, next we got some barred sexy legs. You can use Spanflex. Um, I like this uh, glossy white too. It's kind of a pearl white. We got an entire strand here. I'm gonna put that about the length, the length of the butt. It doesn't really matter too much. We're just gonna, and then we're gonna just tie this in in the center. Get a couple wraps, and then we're gonna loop it around like this. And just kind of pinch it. Give it a couple loose wraps and then just kind of adjust it. It's gonna look like that. To get your legs adjusted, just tie them in so that the gap is flat. Okay, so next I'm gonna take some, just some strike indicator. Antron. Basically the same thing. So I just pulled a couple strands out, cut that. So next I'm just gonna take and just kind of brush out the end. I'm trying to hold my camera because my tripod wants to fall, so just brush it out. So next we're gonna take our antron. We're just gonna place that right in the middle. I'm gonna bring your legs back and we'll just tie that in. Again, I want this to be kind of a gap. 
tie that in like so. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grab this, kind of pull it straight up, and just cut just a little bit of an angle from front to back. And this is personal preference, you can tie you know, however you want. And then I'm gonna separate those again. I'm gonna take and trim this front one just a little bit shorter. Next, we're gonna take some red rooster saddle hackle. So I've just got one feather here, and it's kind of a long fiber, a longer fiber. I don't really care so much if it's as, if it's correct to the gap of the hook, not on this fly. So I'm gonna take tip of this feather and I'm going to preen some of these fibers back like this and then I'm going to cut that off and then I'm just going to tie that tip in and I'm just going to come back and then I'm going to bring my thread forward and then I'm just going to take and I'm going to wrap this hackle Oops, I guess I should check the camera Just one in front of the other, other three or four wraps. Just hold that and then tie that in. Just kind of wiggle your thread. And then we'll kind of preen these back as much of them we can. And get a couple wraps in front of that before you cut it off. Get in here. Real close, just okay. So next, I'm just going to take just a little more dubbing, not not too much, just to transition from the body to the the head. Dubbing noodles are my weakness, <laughs> so you can see there's the fly. Now we're just going to take. We're going to lift all this up. We're going to come under here. Try to. Get as many of those fibers as you can. I, don't, I really don't care if I trap too many of them. I mean, it's to me, it's I can trim whatever, and I think the red fibers are a little buggy, kind of cool looking. Okay, so next, just gonna come in here and give this a, a wet finish. There's, legs forward, pull the loop out so it's even. Just take and push these up. And then next we flip the fly upside down. We'll come in here and we're gonna trim these hackle feathers. We need the hackle that's poking down. Just a little, you just want a few of the fibers poking down to look like legs. Um, and the reason for that is I want this fly to float flat and sometimes hackle can push the flies up. It is a fish catching bug. It rides high and well it'll hold a dropper. Let me show it to you guys in my hand. Like on a Euro rod, you get them upstream from you. And then, uh, lightly grab when they're about when they're done. Grab the line. And let them keep wet your hands. Man, that's a pretty brown. Perfect for the Tinkara rod. Awesome. Let's get another one. That's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I sincerely appreciate you, and I hope everyone has a wonderful week wherever you're at in the world. Thanks so much, and take care. This is Steve from Blackfly signing out. I'll see you guys on the next episode.